This is question 28. The College Board is asking for the area of the shaded region in this trapezoid. And the area of a trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. So it's the average of the bases times the height, or if it's oriented in the opposite, opposite direction, it's the base times the average height. Now to get the bases, we know the perimeter is 20, and these are equilateral, so these five segments are all equal. Let's call that x. 5x equals 20 divided by 5. x equals 4. So this is 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. So the area of the entire trapezoid is the average of the base times the height. And 2 thirds of the area, which is the shaded region, since we have three equilateral triangles and only two are shaded, is 2 thirds of 8 plus 4 over 2 times the height. So 8 plus 4 over 2 is 12, over 2 is 6, and 2 thirds of 6 is 4. So 4 times the height is 2 thirds the area, which is the quantity they're asking us to find. So I need to find the height of an equilateral triangle. Not very equilateral, but it'll do. If this side is 4 and this side is 2, our good friend Pythagoras would give us the height, which I'll call h. h squared plus 2 squared equals 4 squared. a squared plus 4 equals 16. Subtract 4 from each side. a squared equals 12. So h equals root 12, which is 2 root 3. I should write that step h equals root 12, which is root 4 times 3, which is square root of 4, square root of 3, which is 2 root 3. So this is 2 thirds of the area of the entire trapezoid, which is the quantity we're looking for because they say the combined area of the shaded regions, which is 2 of the 3 equilateral triangles. 4 times h is 4 times 2 root 3 is 8 root 3, choice C. Alternatively, you can look at this as average base times the height. We know the height is less than 4, so the solution will be um, less than two-thirds of 24, which is less than 16. That rules out choice 16, but the height is actually pretty close to 4 if you look at this picture. The height here is not much less than 4, so the answer is not going to be 4 root 3, which is way less than 16. So that would suggest by estimation that the answer is probably C. And if I was pressed for time or had issues with computations, I would guess C based on estimation because I know it's going to be less than 16, but not a lot less than 16. You can often get an estimate for area, and that often saves you time or saves you computation you're not sure of how to do. So always keep that path in mind, and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.